Hello, I'm Hyun Lee from Gyeonggi University, and today I will present my publication Global Burden of Vaccine Associated Anaphylaxis and Their Related Vaccines 1967-2023, a comprehensive analysis of the International Pharmacovigilance Database. We investigated vaccine-associated anaphylaxis occurring within minutes to hours of exposure to allergen in a rare but life-threatening response and the global burden of related vaccines. We identified the relationship between vaccine-associated anaphylaxis by utilizing the World Health Organization's International Pharmacovigilance Database, which based which received reports from 1967 to 2023. We investigated 131 million reports in 156 countries and identified about 363,000 all-cause anaphylaxis reports. 31,676 vaccine-associated anaphylaxis reports identified the relationship between 19 types of vaccines and anaphylaxis. Vaccine-associated anaphylaxis reports are rising worldwide since 2020, especially due to COVID-19 mRNA vaccine-associated anaphylaxis reports. Our analysis revealed that vaccine-associated anaphylaxis reports were more frequent in female and young ages. Furthermore, it was found that typhoid vaccines were associated with the most anaphylaxis reports, followed by vaccines such as inactivated whole virus COVID-19 and COVID-19 mRNA vaccines. Although multiple vaccines are associated with various spectra and risks of anaphylaxis, clinicians should recognize the possibilities of anaphylaxis in all vaccines particularly COVID-19 mRNA and inactivated whole virus COVID-19 vaccines, including risk factors associated with anaphylaxis reports. Thank you for listening.